New Horizons is out on the Switch. It's the first console game with 5 million in digital sales in its first month, and it's the top selling game of 2020. Naturally, some people are curious if there is a more similar game like Animal Crossing. So here we have the top 10 games similar to Animal Crossing, which you will enjoy so much. So without further ado, let's get started. Starting off with number 10, we have Summer in Mara. Summer in Mara is a single-player summer adventure where you have to take care of your own island, farming the land, and crafting new tools in order to survive. The game also features day and night cycle with climate events and with more than 100 quests to make the world a better place. The colorful environment that makes for a perfect introduction to the genre for younger gamers and a great relaxing escape from the real world for more mature sorts. Right along to number 9 with Harvest Moon, Light of Hope. This is a farm simulation by Tabot Inc. Like other farming games, players are able to grow crops and raise livestock. Additionally, the player is also able to get married, have a child, buy animals, and help villagers with requests. You can also collect important materials to rebuild the town and restore the lighthouse, and complete requests from villagers to unlock new areas and items. There are lots of new events and unique festivals which make this game more exciting. Down to number 8, we have My Time at Portia. This is a simulation RPG game developed by Pathia Games. The game is set in a post-apocalyptic era in the world of Portia, where humans are few and relics of the past are scattered throughout. The game takes on the role of a workshop builder, bound to build items using relics for the betterment of society. The main goal of the game is to grow the workshop by crafting items, upgrading tools, expanding the workshop, and taking on commissions given by the citizen of Portia while competing with other workshop builders. Down Number 7, we have Re-Legends. This is a monster-raising focused RPG where players can explore a large open world and can perform various types of activities such as farming, fishing, crafting, village building, and more. The game also offers multiplayer mode so that you can play this game with your friends. In addition, you can be able to share activities with your friends. The game also features land or underwater crop cultivation, which is also a great part of the game. we have Stranded Sails, Explorers of the Cursed Islands. This is an open-world exploration farming adventure full of discoveries and quests. Along with your crew, you are shipwrecked on a mysterious archipelago. Now it's up to you to secure your survival and solve the mysteries deep in the heart of the islands and finally escape. Moving Right along to number 5 with Yonder, Cloudcatcher Chronicles. 
This is an adventure game set in an open world environment and played from a third person perspective. The primary goal of the game is to seek and collect magical creatures, known as sprites, to banish an ominous shroud known as the Mark. Throughout the adventure, you can take part in activities like farming, fishing, and crafting while exploring the island. At, At first, four, the island kingdom may seem strange, full of magic and fantastic creatures. But you shall find honest people there. Trust in their wisdom, and let the celestial compass guide you. Have courage, my child. For one day, you shall find your way home. At number four, we have Doraemon, Story of Seasons. This is a farming simulation roleplay video game for Nintendo Switch and Microsoft Windows, which is a crossover of the Story of Seasons series of video games and the Doraemon franchise. The player will play as Nobita and participate in farming activities such as plowing the fields to grow crops, taking care of cattle and sheep, and more. The game also has a fishing system, a house decoration system, an insects capture and collect system, holidays, and festivals similar to the Story of Seasons games. Moving right along to number three with Terraria. It's an action-adventure sandbox game developed by ReLogic. The game was initially released for Microsoft Windows and has since been released for other PC, consoles, handhelds, and mobile platform. Terraria features exploration, crafting, building, and combat with a variety of creatures in a procedurally generated 2D world. The game starts in a procedurally generated world, with players starting out with a few basic tools to get them started. Now down to number two, we have Minecraft. This is a sandbox video game that has no specific goals to accomplish. Allowing players a large amount of freedom in choosing how to play the game, you can mine and gather resources, build and craft anything that you want. There's also a massive open world for exploration, and lots of things to do in the game. And finally, at number one, we have Stardew Valley. Stardew Valley is a simulation role-playing video game where you take the role of a character who, to get away from the hustle of the city, takes over their deceased grandfather's dilapidated farm in a place known as Stardew Valley. The game is open-ended, allowing players to take on several activities such as growing crops, raising livestock, crafting goods, mining for ores, selling produce, and socializing with the townsfolk, including marriage and having children. The game also allows up to three other players to play together online. So. Let's move on to the bonus game. We have Form Folks. This is a role-playing game where players can explore a huge open world and gather the different types of resources, which help them to build a form. The game offers a variety of farm activity like building, crafting, and farming. You can also go for fishing, which is very similar to Animal Crossing. There are also different types of weather atmosphere in the game, which really make this game very beautiful. Form Folks will release on September 2020 on Nintendo. So So that's it for today, guys. 
If you feel this video was helpful, then leave a like and don't forget to smash the subscribe button because we put out videos every week. Now, either way, thanks for watching, and we'll see you guys next time.